Oh boy. All right. You guys have been asking for it. And so today is the day where we take out the VFM5, a vehicle that I have been kind of avoiding for the longest time. But Gaijin was nice enough to change it, at least for the better. I wouldn't say it's really the best, but that's what we're going to go ahead and find out in today's video. Now, before I go ahead and jump into that, no, not a sponsor gig. That was in the previous one. I just want to talk a little bit more about the whole 3% off software War Thunder. It's something I'm trying to put an emphasis on for you guys because it does a couple of things. One, it gives you the in-game decal. Also, here's two of my other favorite creators, John claude Von Schott and Spitflyer. John, he is another War Thunder streamer. He's the most awesome russian guy you'll ever meet i promise and spitflyer needs no introduction he's just amazing as already is, as it is and he's one hell of a pilot too way better than i'll ever be that's for sure and then there's mine of course as you see right here now what this basically does okay it's a war thunder affiliate link in the description you click it it opens the store page you buy something whatever you want golden eagles vehicle packs whatever and there's a some golden eagle uh discounts right now too i think normally i don't know if it adds on top of it uh but what it does is it gets you that three percent off it supports me as a creator because i see that three percent and then you guys get the in-game decal and you can use that pretty much wherever you want in the game aircraft naval vessels wherever right super awesome super humbled anyways uh moving back on really quick also don't forget there's two Awesome too. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> the VFM-5 is, I would like to say, one of the premier light tanks for the British high tier lineup. And I say high tier because 9.3 is pretty much near the end game because as per usual, you will always be fighting around 9.7 to 10.0, 10.3 because the up tiers seem to be a huge thing on my channel for whatever reason. I don't plan it. It's just, that's how Gaijin really is, right? Now, I guess... This vehicle was more or less uh, worked along the lines of the XM8, which makes a lot of sense. As you can see, is it right here? Here it is. They look exactly the same, except that I don't know why we do this all the time. We always have some really sharp angled tanks. And then when you look at the British one, it's so rounded and smooth, right? And just, I, I like it. I don't know, except for the turret face, of course, but I like the way this looks. And just because it is a light tank doesn't mean it's not well protected, at least from auto cannon fire, as you can see. Uh, let's take this off because that's a lot better, right? 38 millimeters, 38, 50, etc. Auto cannon fire is still going to kick your butt, but from, say, coax guns from the AMX 30s or the um, the Martyrs, etc., might not go through this with too much ease, thankfully, but we're going to find that out in the game itself. Now, what are some of the biggest changes this vehicle did receive? One thing only, which is uh, an increase in firepower. Uh, instead of having, I believe it was a C-76A1 as a, not the stock shell, but as their high-end shell, that was replaced with DM-33. And as we all know, DM-33-105 is pretty good for the most part, but that's where a lot of the benefits of this tank really stop. And the next up is just most of the negatives, right? We have laser rangefinder, okay, NVD, no thermal sights, kind of a shame for the most part. But the one thing on this vehicle that drives me nuts is this gunner optics 10 times fix i'm not talking like it's kind of like that wiggle room where you kind of press your eye uh to the side a little bit and it gives you just like maybe like a, a half half times if that makes sense no it is completely fixed as you'll see in the game itself i'll show you and 10 times sight is not good it's terrible <laughs> So you'll see it in the game. We'll make it work, but yikes. You do have a commander sight one times to eight times, right? One times is a little too wide and too short. Eight times, it's better than 10 times. You do have a commander gunner, which is very nice. And you do have, of course, fantastic mobility, as you should with the light tank, right? 70 going forward, 15 in reverse, 500 and what, 60 horsepower engine on a 19-ton vehicle? I guess if you do the math, that means this vehicle has some pretty good power-to-weight ratio, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that for sure. Plus, it is stabilized. Oh, man, this thing, if you use it unstabilized for whatever reason, a challenge, or you're bored, trust me, this tank is super bouncy. <laughs> Yeah. Also, check this out, too. I just uh, noticed this myself. 10 degrees of vertical targeting speed. That's really rare for British tanks. Yeah, it really is. So that's going to help me out a ton. And you do get a 50 cal on top, which is kind of also rare, too. So, yeah, that's that's really it. So with that being said, let's take this bad boy out and let's see, is this worth your 9.3 lineup, especially for the high tier, seeing that this is the only 9.3 uh, I believe the British have or ground vehicles. Anyways, let's begin. This might come off as a very American thing. I know, I don't like this map. I don't know of many people who actually enjoy this map, but it is what it is. But hey, check this out. So I did bring only 16 rounds of Sabo and six heat rounds. I know, why do you always carry heat rounds, right? Heat 
in truth you need some sort of chemical munition hell even hesh might even save you one day for those light tanks those bmps etc which we are fighting and we are up tiered by the way it's gonna be the norm so yeah by the way i wasn't kidding about the sights see look at that i'm, I'm clicking on my sight adjustment here and it's not doing anything yeah fixed 10 times not fun here's the commander's side right a little bit too wide for my liking but eight times better than 10 i think <laughs> anyways i'm gonna use my speed and just flank and spank these guys no direct head-ons got one front how's the kt72 no need to rush the shot if i didn't need to oh no t64 he's got a friend coming over Yep, I hear him. He should be coming down this road right about now. Gotcha. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, using audio to your advantage. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, they did just take Charlie. I think I might be able to have a shot over here on the side. So I've got someone right in front of me. Uh-oh, here he comes. Oh, he knows. 64A, he knows. Oh, yeah. How much trust I don't have for that? Uh, obviously none, as you can see. Oh, damn it, I'm gonna die. Let's, oh, I'm definitely dead. Hey, buddy. Oh my God, he's blind. He's not blind. <laughs> uh, see what I mean about, the, the, like the vehicle's so wide. It's so easy to knock out the breach. It's all right, we got a backup. Let's do it. That's the one front. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why am I fighting in this city? I, in truth, I have really nowhere else to go. <laughs> I killed him twice, I think, too. Yeah, just, we're not winning this game at all. I mean, it, <laughs> right now, the Russians, even at 9.7, are doing fairly well for the most part. So I got to kind of play really cautiously, and I hate this play style. But it is what it is. This might be our uh, jump cut soon. <laughs> Oh, I've got something behind me. It sounds like it might be that 64A that killed us earlier or that breached us. Can I get him? Oh, I definitely hear you. Where are you? Nope, it's the XM1 instead. Gotcha. Beautiful. <laughs> I got, okay, I guess I got a little bit of payback, but I am looking for that 64A. Nice try, though, buddy. Oh, my teammate just called out somebody, too. He's saying there's somebody right here. He needs to pinch with me. So if I can get this guy to at least realize that, oh God, he's a premium. I don't trust that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to knock premiums so much, but in truth, just a, a lot of premium players just don't know what they're doing. So I got to be very, very careful. But it is an SPAA we saw up front too. Got him. Nice play. There we go. Pinch him in. Uh, guys, by the way, I, I, I don't feel great about this game. I really don't. But you know what? I'll take the W if we get it. Got one. Leopard of some sort. Left side. There he is. No, it was KPC or XM803. You know what? Close enough. They sound alike. They look alike. Okay. You can't blame me on that one. <laughs> uh, we're doing good. I, I, dude, I came into this game not, not I wouldn't say excited, but just not feeling confident. And we're doing great. I'll take it. All right. That does it. We win. Nice. Yeah. Good first start, dude. Oh, this is going to be an interesting rest of the video. Hey, he's over there. Oh, I got the speed. I got the firepower. May as well be a little aggressive, right? Cap those points, get into some early game spots. And, uh, I don't know. I think this will work fine. This is a really dumb idea. You know why? Oh, screw it. I'm getting off this point. Uh-uh. Oh no, this is a terrible idea, guys. Oh no. Someone's coming. Oh, guys, I'm gonna die. I'm pinched. Ah, screw it. Let's do this. There you go. I just didn't want anyone to shoot me in the ass at least a little bit. There's more. There's a lot more in here. Woo. There's another one. He shoot? Oh, I think he just shot. 
He didn't shoot. Mine. Got pop smoke. Let me go and waste this guy really quick. Sorry, buddy. I know, I'm using a lot of smoke. There's a guy in here. He probably knows I'm here. Ah, screw it. What do I have to lose? I've got a backup anyway. Aha! Uh, um. Um. Hey, blind buddy. How you doing? <laughs> oh, no. Screw it. Oh, come on. Don't move up. Don't move up. Don't move up. Okay, now you can move up. Holy crap, we actually made that flank work. Aha! Another 74G. Gotcha. I didn't expect to kill him, but I'll take it. Oh, there's another one right down there. He just shot. Oh, he moved. Oh, clever girl. You ever just put yourself in, like, laser mode? I, I like to call it my laser focus or my kill mode, I guess, where I, I, just, I can't think, you know? I, the only thing I think is what's in front of me and can I kill it? I just... You know what? No, I'm a light tank. You guys can't get on my ass about that. Don't even try it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's a leopard! A leopard, too. Okay. Woo! Well, that could be worse. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's got his ass pointed towards us. Poor thing. <laughs> Oh, is that an auto cannon tank? Yes, it is. No, not really, but you know what I mean by that. I'll take, dude, we're doing so good in this thing. I, but then I came, I came to realize just now that we're playing with the Russians. So, ooh. uh, nice shooting scoop, by the way, buddy. Ha, there you are. Gotcha. I like this guy. He played pretty good too. He's shooting and scooting, but I just caught him at the wrong moment. Sorry, dude, but we're doing great. Yeah, no nuke for me, though. I get it. There'd be no point for a nuke anyway. <laughs> but maybe, who knows? Oh. Ah, uh, OF40. Oh, I don't have a shot. I should have a shot right about now. Commander engine, uh, commander loader engine. Nope, nothing good. He shot my teammate, which means I've got a shot on him. Boom. Beautiful. I know, guys. Kind of spawn campy. I get it. No nuke for us today, but we're damn close to it. But this might be the jump cut. All right, game number two down. Nine kills in two assists a cap. Oh, great. Oh, damn it. I was going to say unscathed. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm always one who says, oh, yeah, Justin doesn't like a map. You know, what map does he like in War Thunder? But this time around, I kind of like this one because we get to shoot and scoot and lots of places for us to be in cover. There's a BMD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Of course, it's got to be my breach. Why wouldn't it be my breach? Ah, oh, I gotta run. Guys, turn around. Torque, torque, torque. Let's go. Torque. Turn around. Turn around, dude. I swear, if you shoot anywhere on the turret of this vehicle. Oh. Oh, don't look at me, please. Don't look at me. Oh, my God. He's T Rex brain. He's a T-Rex brain, guys. <laughs> oh, was that the same guy that hit us? It was. Oof. I love the power of turning off your engine. Oh, there's a lot of hate in front of me. I don't think he notices. I don't think he noticed me. Nope, he doesn't notice me. Oh, they got him. Thank you. There's one more in SPAA, though. Oh, or not. There's this guy. Oh, I'm going to attribute that to the fact that he has terrible vertical targeting speed. SPA is in front. Doesn't look like he's focused down here, but I'm probably going to die doing this. Yes! Oh, eight actors. <laughs> I got to cross the vehicle front, but the question is, where the hell is he? He's here. I, I you know, well, of course, I, I marked him a little bit ago. Can I get him, though? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's a scary vehicle. That's. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Leave me alone. Don't move forward. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I panicked. I know. I think I'm gonna rename the channel Justin Panics TV. I mean. Ooh. 
Oh god, I can't shoot that building. Oops, 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 oops. I mean, can you really blame me though? I I'm in a light tank. This thing may as well be wet toilet paper at that point. Everything that looks at you is gonna kill you right away. Pretty much what is this? Oh. Uh boop. Gotcha breach. Uh and I don't think 50 cal can hurt me. Sorry, little premium boy. And give me a boot, please. Or not. Don't bomb me. Don't bomb me. Go. Oh boy. Oops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, can, can I get some more post pen effect with my post pen effect, please? All right. Last time. That's all me. Sorry, guys. He's a streamer, too, I think. And I guess that does it for game number three. We're actually doing really, really good, too. You know what's funny? I'm probably going to talk bad about this thing at the very end. Hold up. We're not done yet. Oh, we're definitely not done yet. Oh, oh I got him. Never mind. We're good. Well, in truth, I guess things can be a little worse. I mean, yeah, we are up to here. Whatever, right? But we are with the Russians. Thankfully, <laughs> I guess. And uh, we have no thermal sites. And that's that's kind of the crappy things about 9.3 is, especially at 9.0. If you don't have a vehicle with thermal sites, or if your vehicle doesn't have thermal sites, you're going to be in for a really rough spot. And I get it, I know. Get good, right? Don't, you don't need to rely on thermals. Well, others do. People will use it to the, to the best possible effect. And if you don't have it, you're at a disadvantage. So that whole idea of just get good kind of thing doesn't really apply when you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. So I'm going to take myself over to the city and uh, see what I can do. But in truth, I might not even use this clip. Who knows? Oh. I saw a muzzle flash, but I can't really see him too well. Maybe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't expect that. I can barely see him. All right. Good start, I guess. I've got what sounds like a light tank, wheeled, uh, wheeled vehicle to my rear. It could be a rod cop wagon. I definitely hear him. He's looking for me. Yeah, I hear him. The enemy's getting closer to there he is. Got his engine. Whoa, shit! Really? You goof? How'd you goof that shot? Okay, uh... I got a little poom I gotta kill. He's, he'll kick my ass, by the way. This thing has no armor. Not for that. But where was he, though? Come on. I don't remember where he's at. I, th I think he was going way too fast and he slipped forward. Okay, so I just realized that I can fit in here. And I need whatever's coming this way to come here now. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Boop. Gotcha, buddy. Perfect. Now I got to work on this little puma. And I don't trust him because uh, he can kill me, by the way. So uh, that little pack puma. Yeah. We're kind of circling each other right now. Oh. Oh. I guess that answers that question. <laughs> So here's how I like to view things when it comes to these types of games. Uh, especially when, you know, we have superior numbers per se. I, I think we have superior vehicles. Um, what the hell? You are so low, dude. Holy crap. Get out of here. Ooh, and a crit. Maybe? No. <laughs> uh it's it's when it's when my team is allergic to the cat points yes that's a phrase i actually like to use my teammates are allergic to the cat points so they decide to you know hang around the edge of the map and not cap the point because come on i'm a light tank capping the point and i did so quite successfully <laughs> team's weird sometimes i don't think that guy can see me so i gotta i gotta try to counter him oh what's this is it the pack Puma? Is it the SPAA? It sounds like a pack. There you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. You're you're coming with me. Can I fit the count? Eh, I got him anyway. Hey, back. <laughs> okay, he didn't actually kill me, but it's I've been hunting him. Oh, boy, we're exposed. 
Whoa, hey, hey, get out of here. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of sad. Where, where's my team? Oh, he's behind me. Where's my team at? Oh, no, he's in front of me. Never mind. We did good, though. You know what? I'll take it. All right, so there you have it, the VFM5. And you know what? It wasn't that terrible. I really expected this thing to be very... Well, dare I say, piss poor. And I know you guys always tell me, hey, how come you always knock on the British, right? How come you always say this and that? It's not that they're bad vehicles, okay? They're actually a lot of fun. Some of my best memories are in British vehicles, the TES, the Tele 2F. A lot of my nukes, actually, the majority of my nukes in War Thunder are with the British. Can you believe that? <laughs> but it really requires a different play style, which this vehicle really shows that it's not part of that British norm, which means it's very slow. You have good armor, you have good firepower, but you're really slow. But the higher tiers, even with a vehicle like this, that has no thermal sights, it has really bad optics, and its armor is laughably bad. It's a light tank, of course. Even a vehicle like this can perform really well maybe more in the right hands than anything else because it has two crucial things that are required in this br and above it has speed and it has firepower reload rate is what you would expect so that's nothing new dm33 is a really capable 105 it's not the best but it's very very capable and you have again mobility that's the biggest thing of this it doesn't go 58 or 54 kilometers an hour with really crappy torque etc it goes 70 kilometers and you're able to shoot scoot you're able to get aggressive get to those early game spots very quickly and you're able to put in some really good work as you kind of saw in this video or at least i hope to portray it like that so yeah even a vehicle like this with no thermal sights crap armor and bad optics can perform really well if it has those two crucial things, speed and firepower, okay? That's why I try to put an emphasis on. A lot of the British high-tier tanks do not have that, period. They're fun to play when you're very patient. We actually lost that mission, too. That last one you saw? Yeah, I, it was, we were doing really good. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Our team was kind of camping the whole time in the corner of the map. But point being is this vehicle overall is going to be something that I'm going to add on to my high-tier lineup because it, it works. It gets the job done. And I genuinely enjoyed this thing. And I would say, yeah, if you know what you're doing, and if you have a more, I would say, passively aggressive play style, you can definitely get a lot done with this vehicle. And it's one that I say, yes, get it, look into, but understand those deficiencies. Bad optics, armor, again, really terrible, and no reverse speed. 15 kilometers an hour is not terrible, but it's not great. I'll tell you that now. But... As per usual, you guys have been bugging me about this. And now to those who have been bugging me, I want to hear from you. Okay, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about the VFM? Did I play it right? Did I not play it right? Do you play it well? Do you not play it well? I have no idea. Drop your opinion in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you're part of that 8% that watches these videos to the end, you guys are awesome, but I want to hear from you. Let me know exactly what you think. Is it worthwhile? Is it not? I have no idea. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Oh boy, we're gonna get this video out early today, aren't we? Oh yes. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy everything. If you wanna see this gameplay live, you know everything. Twitch channel, description, it's all the cool stuff, right? You get to see this awesome beard. I do have some behind the scenes uh, content for my Patreon. If you guys wanna go ahead and check that out, it is coming out very soon. I'm almost done with the filming and then I just gotta do a bit of the recording, which shouldn't take too, too long. And uh, again, that 3% discount, guys, with my uh, War Thunder affiliate link, you know the whole deal with that at the beginning. Feel free to do so if you want to support and support these other creators, too, because I love his decal. And Spitflyer, his decal is really pretty spit. I hope you appreciate this plugin, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, all your aviation content, go to him. He's awesome. Anyways, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed everything, and I'll see you not only in the next video or even those streams, but uh, you know the rest. I'll see you next time.